Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Daryl. What episode of The Walking Daryl are we watching tonight, Trin? It is episode 14 of season 9, and it's called Scars. Okay, uh, and what happened in the last episode? Well, talking about Daryl, we had a very, very cool fight with Mr. Beta. <laughs> yeah, why is he not Alpha? I think we said it after the episode, or did we say it after recording? I don't know. I'm like, well, she must be either terrifying, or he is literally... <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I, I see no reason why he shouldn't be in charge. I mean, that was a crazy fight. Amazing episode. But yeah, okay, I just literally... Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like he he he's not dead. He got a bloody face. He's even more terrifying now, and I feel like he's going to be very angry. But yeah, uh, in the end, we I think we kind of escaped with Henry and Connie and Lydia and all that stuff. Um, and we also got this new group, <laughs> the Highwaymen. Uh, yeah, but the the Connie thing you're bringing up. The connection with her and Daryl, oh, so cool! It, yeah. she, she's amazing. She's so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited to go into it. And Daryl is actually becoming everything. I feel like with Rick going, he's they've really pushed some stuff onto him. He's not only the Daryl we loved before and changed by the world that we think it's right that he should be, but he's not always an emotional wreck. He's right there. Yeah, and he's I, extra. Yeah. yeah, he's extra, extra. And he is literally Snake from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. If you've not played it, I apologize. I keep bringing it up. But he's he's becoming the definition of that character. Like war-hardened, stoic, very focused, and so, you know, he could just survive. So, yeah, I'm loving Daryl right now. And I can't wait to watch this episode. What about you? Yeah, I'm the same. Okay, then. So do you want to wait 45 minutes and watch it? No, I want us to shut up <laughs> and watch it. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Let's get into the episode. Let's go. Wow. Really, the music doesn't fit the. <laughs> it's very romantic. <laughs> is this where he he died? No, no. Okay, this is a flashback. I guess that's why it's a weird color. She's found this oh. is where she found the gun to give to Judith. Now the music makes sense, and she's pregnant. Of course. Oh my God! Chills right up the back of my neck right oh. then. Oh, this brought tears to my eyes. What the it's fuck? It's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, she's looking for it. Every corpse she looks at, she's worried it's going to look like Rick. You good? This one's been kicking the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> she, needs, she needs closure one way or another. And, and then you see Daryl feeling the same thing. So, you know, he loved, he, I mean, he really loved Rick. One day, Judith would be old enough to half carry this. Thanos is coming. <laughs> yeah, he looked very uh, hero uh, style. What is it? Daryl's at the gate. And you didn't let him in? He's not alone. He's with Lydia and Henry. Oh, yes, because they were heading back. What about her? She's with us. We can't trust her. Uh, but it's Daryl. But I trust Daryl. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Called it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Again, flashback. <laughs> Oh, are we going to learn? One of them's hurt. My God, I'm on the show. No uh, way. Jocelyn. This is, this is why she doesn't trust. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm up for this. I need, I, I need to be caught up with it, you know. But did she, didn't she look like the uh, woman from True Blood? Yes, exactly, because that face. Yeah, it was the voice uh, more yeah. than anything that got me. So I'm guessing this group, because we don't see her anymore, screwed yeah. them over. <laughs> Do it all again with different shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we want in, looks like we got to go around. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Crafting maneuver, points for dexterity. <laughs> so we're assuming that this is how they get their X on their back. Daryl yeah, has one. I think it's where we are learning this. Like two of the bad, most badass characters has a mark on their back. Who are we dealing with? Skinning a deer, step one. Okay, okay. Nothing creepy about that, really. No, unless it starts with skinning people. That's when, yeah, maybe it gets creepy. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. All kids? Why am un I'm uncomfortable with that? <laughs> Henry, I need to speak to Lydia. Alone. 
alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that's coming. You care about him. Yeah. Me too. Sit. Yeah, no sass. Just do everything she says and everything is going to be fine. I've done things to protect this place. Some things I'm not proud of, but it's what I had to do. And I made my peace with that. Did you? <laughs> yeah, really? The only life I had to risk was my own. If I could just walk away, if that somehow could make everyone else safe. Oh, I see. Like you being here is a big threat. I don't know. I feel I feel bad for her. She doesn't want to be with mum. Mum's absolutely unstable. Oh, yeah. This place, that's, that's what's important. No, it isn't. I mean, not just us. Wow. I've heard the stories. Carl. How everyone fought the saviors in one. We can do that again. You haven't heard all the stories. Yeah, there's some dark stuff they probably never told you. What would my dad do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could see this. He can. Wherever he is, I'm sure he knows. Uh, it depends if he's an A or a B. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. It's okay. Excuse me. She's really trying. Everything's going to make sense. All those kids? I would go nuts. None of the adults in our group made it. They just... That's shit. Broke. Wow. Um... Kinda weird. Dean Turner said he needed a thousand signatures before he consider your petition. That man was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing this with Michonne. So go find him, Mish. You found me after 15 years. Last time I saw you, there was still a lot. That is crazy coincidence, man. <laughs> yeah. I am so glad that you are here. So am I. But why did it go so bad? Were they trying to get her to go so that they could do stuff? Don't you tell her. She's not ready. She's a kid. And she gets to keep being one as long as I can help it. Okay. That's not just a little kid you've got there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that kid's very astute, very knowledgeable, open-minded, and dog. fire actress and dog. There you go. Dog. She's uh, the, the little girl playing Judith is insanely good, man. Yeah. Oh, they finally locked down the sewers? Yep. Because we were talking about that, weren't we? Like, it's like kind of a big... This is the lard of the pantry. Uh, looks, uh... It looks empty, but... Raided. We don't know. Uh, how much did they have? Oh, my God. Oh! Something's wrong. The infirmary was raided. Oh, they've taken everything and gone. Oh, no. Her oh, friend's get, kind of get... broken. Yeah, kids, look, hunters. There it is. I mean, if your best friend does this to you... It's going to be hard to trust anybody. Yeah. But why would your best friend do this? They were they were settled. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting he's still in the thing. <laughs> Has yeah. she been down here today? I haven't seen her. Not since yesterday. What the hell does she talk to you about anyway? It's private. So now you're curious. <laughs> she likes hearing stories about her dad and Carl. So you feed her bullshit. She'd smoke out the bullshit, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I let her know that she's just as much a badass as Carl was. True. How he got into the sanctuary and shot up a bunch of my men. How dear old dad ninja sliced my jugular. <laughs> <laughs> she is your daughter, so she has her own ideas about how things should be. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't. Because you're curious. You came down here because you have no idea where she is. Help, let him help you find her. Or maybe she is exactly like her mother and she is not taking shit lying down. Uh, uh, Negan's always been a psychologist. <laughs> yeah, don't go to him if you don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> and I bet he's worried. I bet he's so worried. I'm sorry, but I need to go. Our friend needs help, Judith. Oh, yay. Ah, amazing storytelling. This season is really grabbing me, man. Yeah. She was a friend, you know, like a real one. From before. We went through everything together. Heartbreak, losing my mom. Oh. I wanted her to be that again, you know. I needed it. I don't know why she'd do it. Some people just got so much evil in their hearts. They hide it like they're wearing a mask or something. Oh, wow. That's on point. <laughs> Yeah. We'll find them. 
Oh well. We should keep moving. I think we'll find them, but whatever happens, um, I don't think this is enough for her to completely have a 180 on her personality. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Something, something else is coming. And until I see the brand, I won't know. PJ! Wow. Really? Wait! Wait! I mean, for me, the fact that she had kids to do stuff for her was already super weird. Well, super genius. No one likes to kill a kid. Yeah. But yeah, weird. Yeah, Awkward, yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look. Where are my kids? Drop them. Just tell me that they're safe. Oh. Whoa! I think we're about to see a branding. Yeah. Wow, I hate kids. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they make me so uncomfortable and stuff like this. Uh, yeah. Stuff. It's especially in supernatural things. Yeah. Oh, look at Daryl. He's already working on the way out. <laughs> Are we going to see how he finds Dog as well? Maybe. She's awake. Yeah, there's fire and stuff. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. You're right. Is she in charge or the, the little girl? Is that? Oh, wow. Look. Psychotic. Don't call. Yeah. <gasps> Why brand them? And why she was pregnant? Oh no, I really hate this person. Well done, Linus. The strong survive. And thrive. Yeesh. <laughs> I told you children are capable of anything. <laughs> oh, she, if she gets loose, she's about to kill you, man. Wow. And she's gonna go into labor immediately. She, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 she's gonna rip your face off. This is current time. She's looking for Judith still. Yeah. What's this? What is this? Oh, Daryl. Okay. This is a flashback again. Okay. Oh. Uh, we should split up. All right. I'm going to tell you what. Okay. I hope we get to see um, her face her friend in this. Yeah. It's pissed me off. Where are my kids? Where's Judith? Tell me! Why? She's better off. You live in the past chasing a ghost while Judith's been with me. Wow. <laughs> She's gonna cut through so many of you, you have no idea. Oh, yeah. Well, what's next, Linus? Mark our kill, kill our Mark. Help him? Let's go. We're gonna leave two kids to deal with this. Ah, against don't Michonne. Have to hurt you. Ah! Oh, we'll grab that sword. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh no. you piece of shit. Ah! Oh, I can't believe she held back. Yeah, just scream they, at them, I guess. Well, they locked the door. They're not going through. Well, Dara, where are you, man? Oh, oh, come on. Man. Stop it. She had a difficult pregnancy. Come on. Yes. Oh, take that. Yeah, kill her. Yeah. I love that she didn't even try to bargain with her. Get, get wrecked. You can all come back to Alexandria. Really? We'll take care of you now. Kill all of her children. The rest of you are with me. Uh, Kill of all of the children? Aw, uh, she had to do it. She's really trying. Uh, no, this is gonna kill a kid. Oh no. Uh, He's gonna absolutely kill Judith if you don't. Do oh my god. Look at her face. Ah, oh, chills, man. This puts everything into perspective. Don't. So Lydia would be terrifying to her right now. Judith. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, we know she came out, but yeah, that's terrifying. And it's old Judith. It looks like original actress Judith, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, she's not broken. There you go. <laughs> we didn't have to... Oof. She can't remember this? No, I don't think so. Yeah, all the children from Alexandria. She called them all her kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, man. That was a cut oh, and a half. That... Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> what are you worried about, Mum? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, God. For a young girl, she's freaking badass, man. For a second, I thought, I thought I was too late. 
that you changed and that I've lost you. Ah, uh, she's telling her the story. Yeah. I was happy you found me. Oh, she remembers. Oh. You remember that? And she still wants to help people. All this time I thought you didn't remember. I hoped you didn't. Well, it would be hard to forget. What I've done at home, I thought you didn't understand because you didn't know. But you did. Yeah, she still helped. <laughs> Negan knows. <laughs> yeah. Because you love me and I love you. I do. And loving someone means doing whatever it takes to keep them safe, right? Wow. But when did we stop loving Carol? Yeah. Maggie, Carol, the king. We, we didn't. Well then. We shut them out. And why does it feel that way? Wow, from the mouth of babes, right? <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It hits. Oh, it's killing me, man. She's such a good actress. Bringing all the kids. <laughs> she said, where's <laughs> my kids? I'm like, wait, RJ's not born yet, right? <laughs> I thought maybe Gracie. Um, I guess what, Gracie might be one of them. We decided to make this place only about the people who lived here. And that's not what Carl or your dad gave their lives to create. I get it now. Oh, yeah, 100%. They did the one thing to her. It wasn't about even the branding. She nearly yeah. lost Judith and her baby she was carrying. We have to protect the people we love. All the people we love. So we're going to see an uprising. We're going to see some kick-ass ass-kicker. Like, we're going to see some... And we will. Yes! Everyone has to unite. You're stronger as yeah. a group. I don't understand why that even should be an issue. You don't have to try to trust anyone from Hilltop or the kingdom. They're all your friends. Oh, I've never been more happy to see Daryl. <laughs> anyone headed to kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one there looks like it's wearing a mask. Yeah. You can tell by the eyes, can't you? They're moving, yep. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, both, okay. Oh, no. Right, well, that's not Daryl and that. We must tell Alpha. You must die. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Go on then, Trin, take it away. Yeah, it was a very, very good episode about how Michonne, the switch of Michonne, you know, why she, she closed off. And I can totally understand her. Like, now, it, it seemed a bit weird. It seemed a bit... What re what happened that she can be like that? But yeah, her best friend did that to her, so yeah, she can she. How can she trust any other people? But as I said, that was a best friend from a life that doesn't exist anymore, and yeah, she chose to be a psychotic person who will use kids to do stuff for her, and Michonne. She had a group of people they. They fought, as, as Judith told her, they fought the saviors together. They went through hell together. At least she could still be okay with certain people, you know. <laughs> no, you're right. And um, what I will say is that, like, imagine Michonne. She just lost Rick. Um, she's feeling really, really kind of alone because Rick was yeah. everything. Even though she has other people around her, it was all about Rick. So I feel like seeing an old friend, a memory, an old acquaintance would, uh, like, you know, bring her up a yeah. little bit, a little bit of hope. Because if she can see an old friend from 15 years ago, maybe she could find Rick again. And they had pretty much that, that discussion in the kitchen. Good point. So, yeah, she, I, I can feel like why she would throw trust in. But after everything goes south and that, I don't know why you'd want to not ever see Maggie again or anything like that. You know, fight. Fight for, I mean, not even physically fight to defend the people you love, but actually fight for them to reconnect. There's no reason Maggie and Michonne would ever, should, yeah. should ever, like, not, you know, talk anymore. And then it's becoming like a, it's kind of becoming like a hush-hush thing when uh, Aaron had to meet Jesus in private to spend time together and learn stuff and talk about stuff. And this fair thing, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. it felt like it got really, really out of hand. But saying that, as we're seeing now what's progressing right now, now I'm actually more in support of Michonne's way of thinking than I ever was, but we're, we're, we're splitting from it. Because there's walkers out there that are not walkers. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You can't even take on a small group. Because one of them, you think you're just going to stab it in the head, and it just, well, we saw it with Jesus. A little duck yeah. and move, and then bang. You don't know what's what anymore. It's a very different world out there now. And I think, I think we do need a level of 
like being cautious and closed in. Um, but up until now, I couldn't see it. But I was like thinking, okay, it's kind of convenient and good that, you know, people are maybe being very cautious right now. And I was coming on board with that. And then seeing now that we're kind of loosening up the strings. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you'd wish that, no, please keep your guards on. <laughs> yeah, but they do know what they're up against. They know there's walkers. Yeah. They know that there's walkers who are wearing masks and they're human. They're aware. So I'm happy about that. This was an amazing episode. Yes. I really loved this. This helped shed a light on so much because I didn't know what they were referring to. I thought we were still dealing with damage from the sanctuary. It's the only thing yeah, I can think same. of. The, the only, and very clever of them to put that brand in there. Because you're like thinking, well, if this is connected, then it's not that. It can't be that. It's something else. I had no idea what it could be. Brilliant. I mean, because six years have passed. And yeah, it's it only affected Alexandria. Like, Hilltop never had to deal with that. Um, the kingdom never had to deal with that. It was just yeah. Alexandria. They went through that by themselves. And I guess that's why they maybe felt isolated. Maybe that's that's why she felt alone. I don't know. Um, yeah, and yeah, that reminds me that like when Daryl told her when they were still looking for Rick, he told her I think would be the only two that are left looking for him. You know, because yeah. probably she felt abandoned by her friends that they weren't looking for him anymore, and they just accepted that he's not here anymore, and that probably built a little bit of resentment. And with what happened, that kind of yeah 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 she was very bit. isolated yeah. yeah yeah where were you when we needed you um yeah kind of thing maybe but they, they wouldn't have known so everyone's looking after themselves everyone's trying to put food on the table we're trying to make things tick i don't know i was i really appreciate this episode and it came yeah. at the right time because we're approaching the last two episodes of the season right this was 14 and we've got 15 16 yes uh, i think yeah um so yeah we, i really wanted to get this one out of the way I needed this. Uh, it, it's perfectly timed. I, I'm going to have to say it, man. Writing's on point with this. The storytelling is way more thought-provoking than I've ever seen it before, even though the writing was never bad. But it felt like it... I mean, it started off very strong, and I felt like the the whole war thing, it became kind of like mind-numbing. Yeah. Um, like we didn't have to think anymore. We were just watching stuff pan out. I didn't know it until now where I'm like, oh, we have to really... You know, engage again. Click uh, again, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we didn't, there was a whole portion we didn't need to, uh, which just sucks because Negan was, I mean, I hated Negan, but everything he did, he he brought all the characters to their knees when they were getting cocky. We saw Rick's bravado, we saw how he was, and the only person that you'd ever take seriously and feel a threat from is someone like Negan who bashes two people you love yeah. in the head until they're dead. And now we're looking at Negan and going, trust him. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> because we know he wouldn't do anything for Judith. He would never do anything to hurt Judith. Yeah. I already know that. We know how he was with Carl. And he said she's more badass than Carl ever was. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm hyped. I've got two episodes left of this season. I hope season 10 and season 11 are on the same kind of like level yeah. of storytelling. Because I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of this season. Uh, but yeah, I've got nothing really else to say about it. What about you? I'm the same. All right then. So yeah, we will catch you all next time in the next episode of The Walking Daryl. Bye. Cheers. Bye guys. <laughs>